Uh, in recent years, decades, we are more able to detect uh, newly uh, viruses, bacteria, uh, that we didn't know before. So since uh, the 1970s, the, because of the technological development and because of some other reasons like climate change and uh, population uh, movements, dynamics, we are faced with new threats in the world. So even if you think about the HIV, it is 35 years old. And if you think about Ebola, it's about 40 years old. So these are newly emerged. And recently, we have more emerging infections within the last five years, within the last three years, within the last two years. If you think about MERS coronavirus, it was discovered in 2012. And human metapinomavirus was discovered in 2000. So these are definitely new that we didn't see in medical education. So uh, these infections may pose uh, very important public health threats to the people all over the world, and they should be surveyed, they should be updated, and we have to develop some um, arms, uh, drugs, vaccinations against this, and we have to collaborate in order to fight against these emerging infections. These emerging infections should be discovered very recently, or some of them could be re-emerged again. So therefore, these should be um, uh, surveyed and observed by a different disciplinary uh, team, including the virologists, bacteriologists, and fungal specialists, epidemiologists, mathematicians, and uh, social scientists. So this is a very new and dynamic area. This is why it is so exciting and charming for the people who are interested in science. <laughs>